Developing tonight, new calls from Donald Trump for Bernie Sanders to pull his endorsement of Hillary Clinton. This after leaked audio of Hillary Clinton was released from back in February of this year, where she talked negatively about Sanders supporters. Take a listen to a portion of that audio. This is Hillary talking about millennials who were then supporting Sanders because they like free tuition and free health care. They're children of the Great Recession, and they are living in their parents' basement. The idea that maybe, just maybe, you could be part of a political revolution is pretty appealing. It's a false promise. But I don't think you tell idealistic people, particularly young people, that they bought into a false promise. <laughs> Joining me now with reaction, Democratic strategist, Trump supporter, and a millennial himself, Harlan Hill. All right, good evening, Harlan. All right. So here we've got Hillary Clinton, this leaked audio. There's just a deep desire to believe, uh, you know, that they can have, we can have free college, free health care. It's a false promise. But I don't think you tell idealistic people, particularly young people, that they bought into a false promise. How do millennials see that? Well, one, if it's a false promise, why is she promising it now? <laughs> You know? No, seriously, ask yourself that. And I think that that just demonstrates that she's willing to say and do anything to get elected. She doesn't believe this. It's just like with TPP. She has backtracked and been on so many sides of different issues. I don't know where she really stands. Okay, so if I'm a millennial and there are 83 million of them in this country, and she's calling me a basement dweller <laughs> and saying, you know, that you're stupid to you believe this stuff, uh, where's my loyalty now? Well, you know, to an extent she's right. Too many of my fellow millennials are living at home, and it's because they are victims of Obamanomics, uh, you know, economic policy that she promises to continue. I mean, it's stagnant economic growth for graduating from college with enormous debt, no job prospects. So she's right to an extent. Too many of us have been left behind by this economy. But it's ridiculous to think that her, her, her solutions are going to fix anything. Okay, but then doesn't that move them toward Donald Trump? Because uh, in terms of the economy, he always beats her on that issue. I, you know, if it, if it weren't for the media, I'd say so. But they've been so successful in characterizing him or mischaracterizing him as a racist and misogynist. And when you, if you know Donald Trump, if you've ever met him or if you've been following him for years, you know that that's not him. You know that that's not him. Okay, so these millennials, uh, basement dwellers, is, as she uh, <laughs> she refers to them, uh, how do you get them interested in this campaign? Are they even going to come out and vote? I don't think so. I think that most millennials will stay home. A certain percentage of them will come out. But that, that would spell trouble for Hillary Clinton. Look, millennials, African Americans, uh, they, were, they were really important. They were essential to the Obama coalition and his victories in 2008 and 2012. If they don't turn out for her this year, she cannot win, in my, in my opinion. All so right. You know what's interesting about that, Harlan, when you say that is, uh, uh, according to a, a Fox poll, 9 out of 10 Romney voters are with Trump, but only 8 out of 10 Obama voters are with Hillary. Absolutely. So she's not even doing as well with her base, and Trump is even doing better. Absolutely. And you know what? I'm convinced. I'm, I'm, I'm among a lot of silent Democrats. For a while I was silent because I was afraid of the blowback from declaring the fact that I'm a Democrat that supports right. Donald Trump. A lot of people are closeted. And I know of other Democratic consultants just like me. They are not willing to risk their career and their friends to support Donald Trump. But they will do it when they vote on Election Day. All right. And um, with the VP debate, does that impact anything? I don't know. I mean, what, 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 I, what I'm looking for is, you know, I think the governor of Pence has been really professional up, uh, up until this point, and he's just a class act. I think that he'll do great in the, in the, in the debate uh, on Tuesday. Okay. And uh, look, we hear about the Fox News poll. In the four-way race, um, Hillary beats Donald, and in a two-way race, Hillary beats Donald. Um, I mean, it's got to be the four-way race at this point because it's not like Gary Johnson and Jill Stein can drop out. Oh, no way. I mean, they're both going to stay in. And look, and that's at the expense of Hillary Clinton. If they were to drop out, I'm convinced that she would overperform. But in a four-way race, Jill Stein, I, I spoke to hundreds of them outside the debate. Those are people that would have otherwise been in her column. And they're, they're not. Jill's pulling them over. So Jill Stein hurts Hillary. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. So Harlan Hill, always great to see you. It really is. Thank you. Yeah.